Chipara here. Today we're going to be playing the demo for Contra Operation Galuga. Say that five times fast. Galuga. So this is a remake of the original Contra that we love from the Nintendo days, the NES, the uh, arcade days. There's been a couple bangers in the Contra series, not just the first one, but of course you have Contra on the Super Nintendo and you had Contra Shattered Soldier, Shattered Soldier on the PS2. Just great games. There's some pretty good highlights in Contra, but there's also been some low points. Honestly, one of my favorites in terms of a remake or a reinvention was Contra Rebirth on the Wii. It was on the Wii Arcade. I still emulate that game um, to this day. I love it. So Contra Operation Galuga, um, the demo's on uh, Steam. It's on all consoles right now uh, to be able to download. Uh, we have it up right now. I'm gonna play it and see if it brings back all those glossy memories of just gunning down aliens. So let's get into it. So uh, the thing about uh, Contract Operation Galuga, there's been a couple of uh, games that have been identified in the recent Nintendo Directs. Uh, this one included, but you also have Epic, Mi Epic Mickey Rebrushed, and you also have Battlefront Collection. These are all um, kind of nostalgia baits, but they work for me. I know it doesn't work for others. Some felt that the latest Nintendo Direct uh, was pretty poor, but to kind of put a clean bit of paint and a, a new layer of paint, so to speak, on some of these games, whether it is a complete remake of Operation uh, Gulaga of the original Contra, or if it's gonna be um, uh, a pretty good remaster of a Wii exclusive game like Epic Mickey, or it's going to be the classic Battlefront with uh, better textures, with more characters, with additional levels and online play, those are big factors for me, especially for beloved games that need that tender loving care. So with that, let's get into it. I am playing this on a 8-bit dough uh, controller. These work best for me in terms of uh, having connectivity to my Steam Deck, which is what I'm playing it on right now, and they're the cheapest. So in terms of having a completely wireless option that you can just hit the sensor and it matches perfectly uh, to um, to the console, this is this is it for me. So let's go into it. Uh, I'm sure that there's only probably story mode or something. Do easy because I suck at Contra. All right, come on now. This is Contra. We need to get right into it. Contra. Galaga Archipelago. Oh, so that's what it means. But in any case, anywho, in terms of the Contra storyline, uh, essentially, of course, it's an alien invasion, and that's typically just par for the course with these Contra games. But uh, with Shadow Soldier, they started to bring into the mix um, the fact that, ooh, what's going on here? There's a lot more story elements in this Contra game. So they started to bring into the mix with Shattered Soldier um, aspects of uh, the fact that the alien invasion uh, was uh, kind of a response that the aliens were attacked by humanity first. And so they responded back to retaliate against, uh, uh, against Earth and humanity with the invasion. So uh, Lance, um, Lance figured that out and was uh, kind of letting the aliens take over him. So eventually Lance became the bad guy and Bill Reiser had to take out his own friend uh, in terms of Lance being the one of the primary antagonists, the second to last boss of Contra Shattered Soldier. And I thought that was probably one of the coolest elements of the Contra series that you had these two characters that were buddies that were your uh, player one, player two throughout the entire franchise, and then one of them flips, almost like a almost like a horror movie or something. Federation really dispatched a GX army as they were in the vicinity of military exercises. They seem to be making headway and blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, a lot more, um, a more, a lot more um, storyline this time. Red Falcon. 
Gravity waves. A lot of callbacks to the 80s. Time to introduce ourselves. Okay, so let's see how this plays on the controller. One box. Okay, so typically I'd like to buy this on a Nintendo Switch, um, but I heard that there was, and seeing some of the other YouTube videos, uh, it looked like there was frame rate issues. Um, so I'm going to um, download this. I mean, of course, I downloaded it on Steam Deck and I'll probably eventually purchase it on the Steam Deck. Okay, so definitely better there. So on Nintendo Switch uh, and some of the other videos from YouTubers, there's complete uh, removal of frames from an animation from the character. So they go from standing to straight um, and the, um, the sniper position on the ground, that crouch position, um, there, uh, there's a removal of uh, frames there from the animation in the Switch version, but Steam uh, nice and silky smooth. So we're gonna continue with that. Oh, there's a bit of a dash move there. Okay, let's see what's firing. Oh, I just missed that. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out the controls. Is it... Oh, come on. Shoot. At least he doesn't die in the first shot. I would have already been dead if had this been classic Contra. Okay, so he gets hit three times and I'm out. It's a bit getting used to with these controls. Oh, you got the uh, the hang, uh, those little hanging spots. Bridge is probably gonna explode. Oh, not yet. So so far so good. Um, I do. Oh my god, good. Flamethrower. I never like the flamethrowers, they don't have enough of a range. <sighs> no! Oh, come on, I missed it. I, again, uh, the controls are uh, getting used to on this controller. I need to make sure to map them eventually. That again. And this is on easy. I know I can do better than this. You got Lance Bean joining you even as a CPU. And it should let you flip through them. Yep, lets you flip through them. Very little change in terms of the uh, the formula. Oh, come on. Okay, that bridge exploded. Again, the game looks uh, Looks great, very arcadey, very uh, uh, simplistic enough, but uh, enough of an update on the franchise graphics um, to be able to uh, put in a little nice bit of paint on it. Hold L1 now for a replacement weapon. I've already done that. Oh, okay, hold for this controller, it's L2. So that's like a big scatter shot. Guy's armor. This feels like um, Contra 2 or Super Contra, Super C. This part at least. I have no idea what that is. So, if memory serves me, there was uh, versions of Contra that were overseas. Uh, There we go. 
um, that was uh, they used mechs as opposed to the human soldiers uh, to make it more of a uh, uh, regionally more desirable. And that reminds me of that, like they're combining both. So they have this mech character. And it's part of the Contra collection um, that came out a couple of years ago. Pretty cool. If you get that, whatever that is. And I just lost it. And that's the thing about classic Contra. Sometimes they tempt you with those weapon pickups but you have to sacrifice your life in order to pick it up. And I'm about to die again because I suck. I'm probably not even going to get to the end of this demo, which is pretty pathetic, but oh well. These guys are annoying me. And yeah, didn't even make it to the end of the demo. Pretty fun nonetheless, go. Um, I think that there's a driving portion that's part of this demo. I'm clearly not going to make it to it. Um, so that was pretty fun, guys. Um, definitely something I'm going to pick up. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be at a budget price of probably around 30 bucks. Um, I haven't looked up the price yet. So definitely something I'm going to pick up. So with that, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out this demo, and then uh, be on the lookout for Contra that's coming out this March. All right, see you guys.